Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're here with the Duncan review. It's been a minute for a Duncan review, but they had new stuff out and we wanted to review some new stuff. They have a, I think it's a spring kind of menu here of some stuff. They have. It's spring? Yeah. Feels I have like my, winter. I have my coat on and it's spring. It's May 2nd and I still have to pull out my coat because it's like 52 degrees and windy and rainy. I probably could have wore a jacket, but I get cold really easy, so I put my coat on. Maybe by June I can put my coat away for good. It's ridiculous here. Where are you, spring? Okay, so we're reviewing the Cake Batter Iced Signature Latte that's new today. We didn't get the chocolate on it. No, we didn't. And then we have a uh, cornbread donut. So first up, this is the... Oh gosh, I don't want to spill it. Like a sec. Like, um, there. there we go. Cake batter ice signature latte. And it's supposed to have some chocolate drizzle on there, but it doesn't. It just have the confetti on there. And they put a little flat top. I, usually they have the dome lids, but they put the little flat lid. Maybe mm -hmm. they're out of the dome ones, I don't know. But that's what it's supposed to look like right here. It's supposed to have the confetti on top of the whipped cream and then like a chocolate drizzle but we didn't get the chocolate drizzle it says cake on the summer combines rich espresso with spoon licking good cake batter flavor and topped with whipped cream mocha drizzle and rainbow sprinkles a party in a cup so we got half the party because we didn't get the mocha drizzle mm -hmm. we could go back in there and say give us our mocha drizzle our duncan sucks <laughs> yeah you've heard us complain they actually have had things lately they haven't been out of stuff lately but they don't always make the things right and then the donut's not my right either well i'll show you the donut in the middle in a minute here okay so it's supposed to just taste like cake batter it's supposed to have the cake batter flavor with the coffee maybe maybe a little bit maybe a little bit it's it's pr it's pretty good. It's not horrible. Get a little bit, but not much. I just get like coffee, like creamer and coffee. I don't really get cake batter. Get yeah, a little bit of cake batter. Oh god, it dripped on you. Oh, I was afraid napkins. of that. There napkins in there. I was afraid. I of don't that. really get cake batter at all that much. I get like vanilla, which could come from the whipped cream too. I feel like it's just like a vanilla. Or like a vanilla creamer in there with that coffee espresso and the whipped cream on top. I don't really get a cake batter feel. Yeah. Personally, I don't. Yeah. What would you give that out of ten? It's a little bit of a cake batter, I feel, but not not a lot. Um, I'm probably going to go with a six, six out of ten. I give it a four. Mm. Wow. There's no. I almost lower because there's no cake batter, and that's the whole reason I would want that is to get that oh. cake batter. Don't give four, me huh? a drink with no cake batter, and it says cake batter. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I didn't think that was good. So we also got it. Is it leaking out again? Yes, always. We had that problem before. It always leaks out with these lids. So I also got it in the iced coffee because I usually drink the iced coffee. So I thought they also have a cake batter iced coffee, which is cake on the summer iced coffee mixed with familiar flavors of sweet vanilla frosting and bakery notes of vanilla cake. I kind of got the vanilla frosting in that a little bit. Like I said, it was a vanilla, but I didn't get no vanilla cake. Right. So we'll see. This one doesn't look very good. You creamy. might want to stir that stir that one up because it looks like a bunch of stuff sitting in the bottom of that yeah. one. That is a, some of these iced coffees like, are if really you look in the bottom, you can see there's like ugh. It doesn't usually do that though. Usually the iced coffees are always pretty light and already stirred up. But this one's a little what bit are you darker. Trash in like the donuts for? It's a little bit darker, so maybe they didn't put a lot in here, we'll see. Kind of looks like tea, slightly. Tea, yeah, I like tea. I like tea. I like tea and coffee. No. Maybe we shouldn't have stirred it up then. Maybe we should have just let that all settle down there and drain too. I still, I feel like I get the vanilla frosting to tab. I'm not really getting much cake. I don't really get. Maybe a ever so slight hint of it in there, I'm, I'm thinking maybe. 
Yeah, I get more vanilla in this one. But in mine, I thought I taste a little bit of a cake. I mean, just barely. Not hardly anything at all. Three on this one too. <laughs> so disappointed with these. I'm, I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with a four on that one. Yeah, we've tried many cake batter things before, and usually it, cake batter stuff usually has that really good cake batter flavor. It's not at all in here, hardly at all. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah. So yeah, those aren't. Don't recommend those. And now that we have the, they have a new cornbread donut. Cornbread donut. Donut cornbread. Celebrate summer. Corn cake donut glazed and drizzled with white icing for a savory sweet bite. And we didn't get the white icing. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like right there with the white icing. So we didn't get our white icing and we didn't get our mocha drizzle. They didn't want to put any kind of icing or drizzle on our stuff. So we'll see if this tastes like cornbread. Corn cake. Kind of looks cornish. It smells on the like inside. a donut. On the inside it kind of looks like cornbread. Got a cornbread feel mm -hmm. to it. It does. The texture wise especially. Mm-hmm. And it it's like a cornbread slash donut. A mixture yeah. of both. It's actually pretty good. <clears throat> I think the icing on the top, the glaze. Gives it the donut feel. Mm -hmm. And then the inside is like the cornbread yeah. feel. It's definitely got that texture of cornbread. That, yeah. Whatever. I love cornbread too, so this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's like a cross between a cake donut and cornbread. Mm -hmm. And then with a the glaze on top, like a donut has. Yeah. Because you don't have glaze on a cornbread. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. I'll give them props for that one. Pretty true to what it's called. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 on this. Yeah. I'll okay, get 8.5. 8 and and 8.5, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. And that's what it's supposed to be. It says cornbread muffin. That's what it tastes like. Then we also got the munchkins, because they have them in munchkins too. And I think, what does it say on here about munchkins? Cornbread munchkins donut hole treats. Celebrate summer, glazed corn cake munchkins donut hole treats. So these aren't supposed to have any icing, so they're correct. It just has the glaze on it. Tastes like the donut. And cornbread. Mm -hmm. About the same. But in a donut hole form. Mm -hmm. I taste more cornbread than this. I do too, because it's probably probably because it's big and round, maybe. This really has a cornbread flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It's really cornbready. On the holes, I'm going to go with a nine. Because mm -hmm. you too. can really <laughs> taste the cornbread, like majorly. Yeah. Definitely. It's definitely more cornbread. Mm -hmm. I'll say the donut was like 50 50, 50 donut, 50 cornbread, or maybe. Mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe, maybe 45. Yeah, 60 40, 60 cornbread, 40 donut. Mm -hmm. But that munchkin is like, what'd you say? Major corn. 80. <laughs> yeah. 80 cornbread, 20 donut, 20% donut. Yeah. So those are really good. Recommend those. I recommend those, just not the coffee. Yeah, the coffee is just not, doesn't give us that. There's no cake batter flavor in there. It's yeah. just like a vanilla kind of flavor. Just maybe a touch, touch of cake batter, but not probably anything at all. Yeah. So the price of these was the medium uh, original cake batter signature latte with the whipped cream on top is four thirty nine, And the medium iced decaf, well, I got decaf, but it's a medium iced uh, cake batter coffee, iced coffee was two eighty nine for just the iced coffee. It's always cheaper. The signature lattes are always more and then the donut was $1.29 for the corn bread donut and we got five munchkins and it was $1.39 for five of the corn bread munchkins and we wanted to thank our cousin Dana and our cousin Chris and Aunt Shirley for our gift card that I, they gave me for my birthday so we used our gift card yes for this you. to do the review so thank you guys we love you 
and that's our review so thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video bye bye y'all